Ladies and gentlemen, the search for two pretty best friends continues. And going into this, we all knew that this journey was a path full of troubles and trials that would require an absolute sense of strength and bravery to get through. But not a soul expected any trials as grave as this one. That's right, our founder, the man, the myth, the legend himself, J.R. Scotty, has gotten himself in a bit of a pickle. Now what I mean by this is my mans, this guy right here I ain't never seen two pretty best friends Got a picture of his meat leaked onto the Bluebird app known as Twitter Now I don't know who leaked it, I don't know when it leaked, I don't know how it leaked The point is that it did Now you see if it just got leaked and then you know everyone just made like a memes about it and whatever and just went on about their day that would be fine because that's what usually happens when a dp gets leaked but this was a bit different you see jr scotty is a tiktok star so when this hit tiktok you already know the slander was insane my man's got so many comments talking about shrimp shrimp small small blah, 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 that he actually deleted or privated every single one of his videos except for like two of them and he disabled comments now the real funny thing for me is the fact that these feminists and these girls are always the ones talking about body positivity and how you shouldn't shame this and shame that and whatever whatever and accept everybody but then they're the same ones who turn around and say stuff like this why does it look so crispy and dry? You see, if I said that about her vagina now, and how the scent resembles that of tuna fish mixed with mayonnaise and a skunk's butthole, or how it looks like literal roast beef, that would be considered body shaming. But apparently this is fine now because it's about a guy. This other person said, First of all, I expect more. Whatever happened to, Our bodies don't exist just to please you. If a man said this about a woman's titties, you'd hear in the comments, Her, her titties don't exist for you. We're not doing it for you. Do you think or bodies just exist just to please men it's so dry help yes just like her extremely smooth brain cells blm a cap girl i know before anyone takes that out of context like the dumbass you are not hating on flipping black lives i'm nigga nigga i'm black i'm just saying that niggas with that in their bio are usually you know how they are now to be fair with you, I did see one guy in the replies saying stuff too talking about oh my day is bigger and i'm not even 16 a lot of them were of the female gender however the other girls most of the girls commenting were just you know just saying little stuff you know oh my god blah 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 i want it to be bigger whatever whatever but here's where it really takes the cake now the absolute pinnacle of stupidity this girl said i ain't never seen two fully developed dicks it's always one of them gotta be shrunken first of all at what point in your life are you ever seeing two fully developed dicks are you into getting gangbanged? Do you like it when one takes the top and one takes the bottom? And I'm not hating on you if you do, but I'm kind of having problems believing that you actually get male attention considering you look like this. How you gonna be bullying my mans for having a small pecker when the only thing you're probably pulling is them buttons on your shirt to actually close? You out here criticizing my mans when if a random guy walked up to you and asked for your phone number on the very off chance that that actually happens, all you need to do to give it to him is find a scale and step on it. Then she followed up with, many are commenting that I am body shaming him. And yes, I am. He's literally a womanizer. I ain't ever seen two pretty best friends. That's a real beep thing to say. If he was a good guy, what I said would have been beep. But for someone like him? Now let's take a second to think about these words. Yes, I am body shaming him. So you basically admitted it right here. With that being said, I have a free pass to decimate and body shame every single cell of your body. Which I know you have a lot of them. So this should be quite fun. Secondly, how is he a womanizer? Do you know what a womanizer is? A womanizer is a man who engages in numerous casual affairs sexually with women aren't you feminists the same ones who always talk about oh it's okay to be a hoe body count doesn't matter blah 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 i would think y'all would keep the same energy for men but i guess men are dogs men are f boys who only want sex right i thought there was nothing wrong with that hmm interesting and lastly we have here this thing that takes the cake i ain't never seen two pretty best friends that's a really bad thing to say have you ever maybe stopped to consider for three seconds that just Maybe it might have been a, a, a joke like maybe at, at least maybe maybe I'm, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt that you at least Consider the possibility. But who the flip am I kidding? Now before I even continue on this point I want to show this other tweet of this girl who pretty much said the same thing Somebody replied to that lady's tweet with 
body shaming to which another degenerate responded by saying he's literally said he's never seen two pretty best friends always one of them got to be ugly lol to which somebody else responded with it was a joke it could have been about men or women maybe like 10 people on earth took offense to it everyone else made a joke about it and it became a huge meme there's no justified reason for leaking anyone's nudes ever end of discussion and then this person with a literal rock for a brain responded by saying there wasn't even a discussion with you because i didn't ask well guess what charlotte rose and you too white respucia i know for a fact that the only reason these girls are pressed over what this man said is because unless your best friend has a face that looks like my literal foreskin you most definitely are not the pretty one in the best friendship these are the girls who are most likely jealous of their best friends because anytime they go out the best friend is the only one who gets any form of male attention and all the eyes are on them these girls have the questions who's your friend over there and is your friend single burnt into their brains while their best friend probably has never heard those words in her life hold your l and walk away you clowns they have been sentenced to the circus but anyways guys that's gonna be all for today's daily dose of degeneracy if you did not enjoy this video as always say remember to obliterate the dislike button if that was your true opinion of the video then you should not hide it because because of my feelings but of course if you did enjoy the video remember to update the like button punch it in the face till it turns blue like your name is chris breezy do the same with the subscribe button till it turns gray and of course guys drop in fire content every day bangers on top of bangers and yeah but anyways guys it's been your boy john and you are now leaving my mind